Hello, this is Mule DK19 from the Product Stults development team. I'm going to talk a bit about the Kismet nodes in Product Stults. And unlike Care Theory's way of doing it, Product Stults will take advantage of the Kismet system present in Unreal Engine 3. This should give members much more control of everything going on in the level and make them able to create very unique maps. So I'll go ahead and fire up the Product Stults editor. Okay, so I've made a small test level specially for this video. Um, and I've placed two targets here, which are the actual things to hack. Um, I also have also created three movers, which I'm going to use to demonstrate some of the possibilities using the Kismet system to create and handle objectives. Okay, to make an objective, we just need to place a PS objective in the level. Um, add actor. PS objective. Now, the PS objective has a few parameters, such as what messages to show on different occasions, the name of the objective, which can be anything. I would call it a uh, Morton's lead room, whatever. Um, and what team the objective applies to. You need to define what targets that are required to hack in order to complete the objective. You can also specify how many of the targets need to be needs to be hacked, like any all targets, or you can choose any number of targets. Let's say you have 50 computers and you want them all to be hacked in order to complete the objective. You could just enter 50, though I think people would get pretty mad at you if you made a level like that. Anyway, um, now that we have the PS objective in the level, we want something to happen when the objective has been completed, and this is where Kismet comes in handy. Now, as you can see, I've already animated the movers here, so I just need to link something to the play inputs of the matinees. So I'll go ahead and create a new event, product styles objective status. Okay, this event will trigger these four outputs depending on the current status of the objective. Of course, we need to link an objective, so I'll just select my PS objective in the level. Boom. Go back into Kismet and create a new object variable using PS objective underscore zero and link it. Okay, now I just need to link the play input to the completed output. And the door should open when I test. Um, okay, we don't have an actual way of, of hacking these things directly, so I'm just gonna run a console command I made to complete all objectives. And um, this simply sets the status of all objectives in the level to complete it. And now the door should open when I hit enter. Okay, it does. Okay, let's try something else. Kismet. Now, imagine that this level were to be played in a death match. We would want all doors to be open right away, which is also very easy to achieve. Um, new event, level loaded and visible. And then I'll just add a game mode conditional node. Game mode. And I want each of these matinees to play if the game mode is deathmatch. So I'll just link these up. And when the level is loaded. Okay. Now I need to save and build because I need to launch uh, the map in the game because I have to switch to deathmatch mode, deathmatch mode to, to show you this. Okay, close, yes, and product stealth. Okay, um, I think I have it, yes. So I'm gonna uh, launch the, the map, the level, uh, in deathmatch mode. And as you see, the doors open right away. So let's go back into to the editor. Okay, I'll just load the map again. Uh, okay. Okay, there are a few other nodes too. Um, let's say that the objective has been completed. And 
Um, team radio. Now this node outputs the team with the most players. So I could say when the objective has been completed, I want the door to open if the teams are equal or if there are most players on, on spy. Um, and if there are more mercenaries than spies, let's say there are two mercenaries and one spy, I want all three doors to open. Okay, so let's go ahead and test with just a spy. Just me. And complete objective. Complete objectives. Now there are most spies. Because I'm the only one, so. <laughs> I see now only the main door opens. So let's go back and test again. Um, if there are more mercenaries than there are spies. So build play level. Okay, so we have two mercenaries here. And I'll complete the objectives and all three movers should move. Complete objectives. And as you can see all three movers moves. And as I'm sure you can imagine you can create very, very, very unique maps. Um, because of the Kismet system. And that's pretty much what I have for you today. So until next time, see ya.